Hey y'all, it's Candice. Okay, so I have gotten a lot of requests about my hair flowers. Like I have one in today. As you can see, I'll turn around. I don't know if you guys can see it all the way, but um, but I've gotten a lot of requests on um how I make them. So this is gonna be a really quick video on how I make them. You just need some flowers that you get from the dollar store. Don't go to like Hobby Lobby or Michaels unless they're having like a huge like clearance on different flowers because you can get whole like bouquets for a dollar. Um, but try to get them with different colors um, on the stem because you don't want a whole bunch. I made that mistake um, and did that. So, but as you'll know, the bottom of a flower has this green part on it. All you're gonna do is you're gonna cut down on this on the flower okay so first off let me let me start over again okay um you are going to need a bunch of flowers um any kind of jewels anything you want to decorate them with i use stuff from walmart um a little jewel case here a bunch of little different jewels you're going to need um some clips the clips that i use these are from sally's um you can use alligator clips but alligator clips tend to be too thin and i feel like the flower is kind of floppy but they look like this and and they have, as you can see, they have the two double here, and it just looks like that at the end. I just get these. They're two nineteen. I usually pick up two at a time. Um, they're over in the hair care um, stuff where like bobby pins and all are and Sally's. Um, you can also use, I've tried using these, the goodies um, banana snap clips. So they actually snap because they have a good sturdy part up here. I've only used one with these and these are the smaller ones the no slip I haven't used any of these either and you'll need a pack of felt which you can also get for a dollar at the dollar store any color you want um, and then I cut my felt in strips this is just an example I just cut it in strips and I'll leave one in about this much length I guess you could say um, and then I wrap it around one of these I'll just show you an example here it's not gonna be perfect sorry but I put it right to where it meets the edge right here. And then I'll take my hot glue gun. I will tell you guys, you're going to need a hot glue gun as well. Lots of glue sticks. You have to have a lot of patience to do this. Bored, just sitting around doing nothing. And you just kind of have to dibble dabble in it. And you're going to screw up. You're going to mess up. And I'm going to 140% guarantee that you are going to burn the living crap out of yourself with the glue gun. I literally sound like I have Tourette's when I am sitting doing these flowers because you're holding them down and you don't realize you hit the glue and you're holding it down and you're like holy crap of course that's not what I say my words are much more foul because <laughs> it hurts but um it's just part of the game so anyway then I put okay then I put like glue along these lines here and then I literally just fold and let it stick and then fold let it stick make sure you put it in between you're putting it in between the top piece see you don't want to put it around both obviously because you won't so you're gonna like make the little alligator eat the, the felt I'm gonna use a little analogy analogy analogies here analogies I can't even speak okay you'll super not super glue you'll glue it here I'm sorry I'm just all over the place I haven't slept at all and I'm really tired um, so yeah you'll put your glue and then we'll glue it down that's what it'll look like and then you can snip the ends off that'll be glued that is where you're gonna place your flower okay then you take your little then you take like a little square piece of felt and cut it off and I'll show you when you get to the bottom of a flower you're gonna cut it completely flush it may fall off you'll notice that these flowers you they can come apart play with them I mean as you can see with some of mine these are three different flowers guys I just pulled them apart so yeah, you'll cut this. You can either leave the green part on, which I have done in one, and you'll super glue your little piece of square felt on the bottom. See? Not super glue. I keep saying super glue. Hot glue. You're going to hot glue your little square, and then this one without the green. Looks like that. So that way it's just flush. See? And if you look at the ones sold in Target and Walmart, um, and some of the ones that are like in Claire's and R are a little bit more advanced I guess but the ones I swear in Target and Walmart I've looked in CVS are made just like this so you can do it on your own and I have a huge box of flowers that's gonna take me 10 years to do anyway um, 
And you can go to Michael's and like Joann's and um, Hobby Lobby when they have like great sales on their flowers and they have really cool like leopard flowers and zebra flowers, which I need to get some of because I need some variety here. Anyway, you'll hot glue that on there. Let it sit, let it dry. Just, just leave it alone for a second. You're going to have those strings everywhere. Don't worry about it. Pick all those off the next day after they've completely dried and hardened. The glue is good and, and just adhered to it, so just don't worry about it. Then you're going to take your flower, you're going to put, I usually put the hot glue on here, on top of the felt that'll be on here, and then you literally just stick it on, like that, okay? I'll show you what it'll look like. This is one that I made, and you'll see, see the felt, you'll see the felt strip, and then the felt on the back. And I just glued it on, and there you go. You got a hair flower. You just set it aside, leave it alone, hold it on there. And then you can add jewels. I've added the jewels to the end. You'll just take little spots of glue. Um, you will have times. I've had a couple of flowers that have given me a, a little a bit of a hard time. Um, that when you do take this green piece off, they do just come apart. They're literally in layers. You may, when you layer a flower like this, this is three different flowers. I left the green part on here, but on the other flowers, I think I left it on there too. You may have to glue like in between, like down in here. Um, on some, I think I had to do it. Yeah, I had to do it on this flower that I made for my sister. Because these are three separate flowers, I have to glue down in here so that the flowers stay together. You just add a little bit down in there, no one's gonna see it, and there you go. You got a hair flower. Aren't they cute? Just like the one I have in my hair. Um, I don't wanna take it out, so you guys have seen it. But yeah, and you just, I have little simple ones. I have ones that are a little bit more, you know, I should do this one a little bit more fancier. These are two different flowers as well. Added some beads, added some greenage on this. As you can tell, that one's been completely cut off. So, um, yeah, they're a lot of fun. This is one that I use with one of the banana clips. You'll do the same concept. You'll take the piece of felt, you'll put it in between, so like the clip is like literally eating it, and you're gonna wrap it around the top part, the part that's not gonna like slide into your hair. The top part of the clip, fold it over, you know, of course put the glue on it, fold it over, and make it like let it dry. This was a little bit more difficult to do um, big flowers really aren't going to work because, as you can see, the clip goes like this. So, I mean, that's what banana clips do. But it worked. So I just I did the same concept. Cut the square piece off, glue it to the back of the flowers. Once that stuck, then I glued it onto the... I glued it when it was closed so the flowers would stick better. But that's my little one that I did, which could go up here at the top of the little ponytail for like a little girl. Um, this could even go at the bottom of like a, a, you know, a French twist or something that you could put down at the bottom. Um, but this is just really cute. That's the one that I use the banana clips on. So, that's it. That's how I make my hair flowers. So, you just need some flowers, some felt, some jewels if you want it. You don't have to use jewels. Um, definitely hot glue gun, lots of hot glue sticks, um, some clips from Sally's. Um, they don't sell these kind of clips at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid. I've tried looking. The only place I can actually find the metal double prong clips are at Sally. So they may have them at your Walmart or CVS or whatever, but um, it's okay. That's how I make my hair flowers. It's really not a lot to it. It is, it is time consuming and it is, I, I've gotten better in months that I've just kept doing it. You will burn yourself. Yeah you know, yell and scream and it just, it's very frustrating, but you know, it's a lot of fun because I have a ton of hair flowers that I can wear now and I get so many compliments on them. Um, so yeah, so, but this one is by far my favorite that I did with the little jewels in the middle. Just too cute. So anyway, and also just a quick update. Um, if any of you had seen my beauty broadcast, um, post, I've been looking for a shower cap. I've been actually, um, washing my hair every other day. My hair is very oily, so I have to be careful um, but I've been using dry shampoo, which 
I've kind of been tweaking it and, and playing with it and doing a lot of teasing and wearing my hair up because it is hot here so it doesn't matter. You know, I live in Georgia and it's like 92 degrees with like 100% humidity and the heat index is like, you know, 2000. So anyway, I wanted a good shower cap to wear in the shower, not the little plastic kind that I usually wear when I dye my hair. Um, I wanted a good one that doesn't, isn't going to get moldy and I wanted it to be cute. So I found one at Sally's. Actually, Sally's had a, quite a few of them and I only paid $5.49 for it. And it's called the Flower Power Shower Cap and it's from the Hipster Collection. Of course, the girl, I don't know, I've never seen anybody wear a shower cap like that. She looks really retarded. It's just fun. Uh, yeah, she's just screwed up. Funky, funky, funky. Um, so yeah. So what I got, it's really cute, it's got flowers all over it, it's super duper just adorable. Yippee skippy! Found a shower cap. So anyway, okay, that's it. If you have any other questions um, about hair flowers, just let me know. And don't worry Angie, I have totally not forgotten about you. I will be sending you a bunch of pink hair flowers with lots of little, you know, little diva studs with little, you know, glitz and glamour for you to wear out there in Cali. So anyway, all right, guys, I will talk to y'all later and have a great rest of the weekend. Bye, y'all.